Hi, I'm Shneeka Zenter. I'm the Virtual Content Specialist for Middle School Science for Multilingual Learners and English Language Learners. Today's video is going to be on more sustainable energy sources that students can use to help them understand alternatives to non-renewable resources in Day 18's lesson. So students will watch a video and answer a few questions based on the video and the resources presented in that video. Hi, I'm Shnika Center. I'm the Virtual Content Specialist for Middle School Science for English Language Learners and Multilingual Learners. Today, we are going to look at a few different sustainable energy resources. In other words, we're going to research renewable energy resources. This will help you complete the objective for Unit 5, Day 18. We're going to be asked to talk about what could possibly happen if we could use different sources of energy. Before we get started, let's review some vocabulary words. So a resource is something that we use. Today, we're going to talk specifically about energy resources or what we use to get energy. A renewable resource is an energy source that can be replaced. So when you think of the word renewable, it's something that be can become new again. So you're always getting new sources of energy. Advantage. An advantage is a good thing. So an advantage of studying is passing my classes. A good thing about studying is that I pass my classes. Disadvantage is a bad thing. A disadvantage of studying is not being able to hang out with friends. So a bad thing about studying is that I can't go hang out with my friends. Now that we reviewed some vocabulary, we're going to watch this video. We're gonna watch this video two times. The first time you watch it, I just want you to look at the video and listen to what the speaker is saying. Renewable energy. We obtain energy from two different sources, renewable energy sources and non-renewable energy sources. Today, we're going to learn about renewable energy sources. Renewable energy refers to all those limitless energy sources present in nature. The sun, the wind, the force of water, or the inner heat of the earth are examples of renewable energy sources. These energy sources are present in nature and are naturally replenished. That's why they never run out. These are some of the most well-known renewable energy types. Solar energy comes from the sun and reaches us as light and heat. For example, Thanks to these solar panels, we can capture sunlight energy and transform it into thermal energy to heat water in this house. Eolic energy comes from the movement of air or the wind. For example, these windmills transform wind into electric energy. Tidal wave energy comes from the movement of sea waves or when tides change from high to low and vice versa. Hydraulic energy is produced by the water we store in reservoirs or artificial lakes. Look at this dam! Water falls over from a high spot. Then, it flows through the hydroelectric factory, where the force of the water is transformed into electric energy. Geothermal energy is generated from the heat stored in the earth. This type of energy is used for heating a house or generating electricity, for example. Let's look at some of the main advantages of renewable energies. They are environmentally friendly because they don't emit CO2 or greenhouse effect gases. They are limitless because they are obtained from natural resources that don't run out and replenish naturally. They are safer for our health because they don't generate toxic residues harmful for people. There is no doubt that renewable energies have many advantages, but there are disadvantages as well. Renewable energy resources are not found everywhere in the world. Countries with shorter daylight hours cannot produce as much solar energy as other parts of the world. Obtaining renewable energy can be random or variable because it depends on natural phenomena that we cannot always predict. For example, the amount of rainfall. To reach the world energy objectives and help take care of the environment, it's indispensable to accelerate the transition to renewable energies. 
The second time we watch the video, we're going to complete this chart. This video is going to talk about five different types of renewable resources. As you watch, you're going to fill in the material used to produce these resources. And then you're going to write down some advantages of using renewable resources and some disadvantages of using, of using renewable resources. Renewable energy. We obtain energy from two different sources, renewable energy sources and non-renewable energy sources. Today we're going to learn about renewable energy sources. Renewable energy refers to all those limitless energy sources present in nature. The sun, the wind, the force of water, or the inner heat of the earth are examples of renewable energy sources. These energy sources are present in nature and are naturally replenished. That's why they never run out. These are some of the most well-known renewable energy types. Solar energy comes from the sun and reaches us as light and heat. For example, thanks to these solar panels, we can capture sunlight energy and transform it into thermal energy to heat water in this house. Eolic energy comes from the movement of air or the wind. For example, these windmills transform wind into electric energy. Tidal wave energy comes from the movement of sea waves or when tides change from high to low, and vice versa. Hydraulic energy is produced by the water we store in reservoirs or artificial lakes. Look at this dam! Water falls over from a high spot, then it flows through the hydroelectric factory, where the force of the water is transformed into electric energy. Geothermal energy is generated from the heat stored in the earth. This type of energy is used for heating a house or generating electricity, for example. Let's look at some of the main advantages of renewable energies. They are environmentally friendly because they don't emit CO2 or greenhouse effect gases. They are limitless because they are obtained from natural resources that don't run out and replenish naturally. They are safer for our health because they don't generate toxic residues harmful for people. There is no doubt that renewable energies have many advantages, but there are disadvantages as well. Renewable energy resources are not found everywhere in the world. Countries with shorter daylight hours cannot produce as much solar energy as other parts of the world. Obtaining renewable energy can be random or variable because it depends on natural phenomena that we cannot always predict. For example, the amount of rainfall. To reach the world energy objectives and help take care of the environment, it's indispensable to accelerate the transition to renewable energies. Now that you've finished watching the video and completing your chart, you're going to engage in a class discussion with your classmates. If you have any questions about the video or the chart, please reach out to your teacher.